LIACF stock, American Lithium Corp. It closed the session of the 23rd of November 2021 at $4.49, a gain of 3.28%. Not a lot happened in that session. We can even see that the volume for that session was below average, roughly call it 800,000 shares across the tape during that session. And we, we know very well that the stock is strongly bullish, strongly bullish. You can see what has been going on since the last, um, let's, let's put it at, uh, since November, so since August, you know, and then since that time, what we have absolutely noticed is that um, um, it has only closed below its 50-day moving average. This, this 50-day moving average. This is that's the one. This, this, uh, this curve. It has only closed below that moving average once since that uh, since August. And obviously the 200 day moving average, I think, okay, how many, let's, let's put it at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six for the 200, 200 day moving average it has been six because obviously there was a time things were not so wonderful. You know, the stock was declining and you know, the 200 day moving average uh, caught up with the other moving averages, but for the 50 day moving average, it has only been once since August. And then for the 10 day moving average, it has only been 14 times. This, this gives you an idea of the probabilities, probabilities we're talking about, you know. So the, uh, over the last, all the way back to August is, call it three months. So and in, and in, in, um, in each month, you have roughly 20 trading sessions. So 20 times three is about 60, 60 trading sessions. So out of uh, 60 trading sessions, it has only closed 14 times below its 10 day moving average. So that gives you an idea of the sort of probabilities we're talking about here. And then for the 20 day moving average, it has only been seven times, seven, seven times. So, you know, uh, this gives you an idea that um, the stock definitely has a lot of support. You know, you can see the angle of attack it has here. Very steep one, very steep one, even though that's also risky. Very steep angle of attack, you know. And then with that big steep, 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 steep angle of attack, you can, and then we are talking about all these sort of uh, uh, number of times it has closed below certain moving averages. These moving averages, it gives you an idea of the amount of support it has. You know, so what we have also observed as well of late, of late, you know, we have seen since uh, October. You can see the stock is always, always pulling back at some at various times, pulling back, but never, ever, ever really falling below those moving averages since. It started to spike on the, okay, that was, it, it, it pivoted on the 7th of October and then it began this, it took, it took all of these extensions to a, another gear, a high gear. And then since that time, since that August 7th of October, so since 7th of October, it has never really, the only time it closed below the 10 day moving average was only once, that was on the 21st of October, you know. Outside that, we can see clearly the stock pivoting right on the moving on the ten-day moving average. All of these are very very positive signals. Very positive signals. We saw it reach its uh, this fifty-two week high of four point eight zero dollars on the fifteenth of November, just a few days ago. A few yeah, a few days ago, and then we saw it pull back, continue to retrace retrace and then got support from its 10 day moving average and then also spiked up again and you know in this in the uh, on the 22nd which was i believe that was uh monday also again pulled back and got support from the same 10 10 10 day moving average and then spiked up again and uh get gained three three percent and then on that that, that was also on light volume very good very good on light volume you know um very much an indication that maybe yes you know um they're not taking their money out because heavy volume sometimes can mean that um um the, the people who got involved are going to take their money away so this three percent extension we had that was out or that was from from a pivot on the 10 day moving average yeah all of them all of these things add to emphasize that um yes the stocks bullish trend is you know still in effect you know we saw this this pullback and it never fell below this 10 day moving average, which, which is also a support has, uh, has, uh, you know, uh, presented, uh, itself as a reliable support. It never failed it. It never failed the stock, you know? So 
all of these all of these just go ahead to reaffirm that uh, the stock in is, is in a bullish in, in is, is in a bullish trend that reversal is not on the cards you can see that pulling back from this 52 week high and never falling below this uh, well recognized moving average yes it just and indicates that the reversal is not it's not what we're talking about it's not a, a reversal you know it's just a correction it's just a pullback that's 480 so that will 480 to all the way to 440 that was it's pretty much a sort of correction yes pretty much a correction so that's what it is a correction not a pullback not a not a not a, not not a reversal into the uh, bearishness and all the stuff you know so moving on well, let's see what the momentum is uh, is like here the momentum yes is indicating okay just slightly inch stop and i think here the fast line of the the uh okay for this momentum the fast line is slightly below the 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 slow line so uh, things as okay even though the stock was up by 30 percent but, but momentum is not uh, sufficiently reflecting that it's still it's still reflecting some um weakness there you know but at the same time we, we that's also the same the same the same thing with the macd it's still slightly or just right on its signal line so and uh restraint as well rsi is also indicating the same thing but we have on the accumulation distribution accumulation distribution you can see this this the trend is uh, just still validating what we all know this is validating what we know that the stock is in a bullish trend accumulation you can see the trend of the accumulation it is an upward one so yes it is just a validation that you know the stock is people are buying and buying and buying and they're supporting this bullish trend so the readout here says it appears to, it appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend although it's uh, might be presently below the signal line shares remain 119.8 percent above an upward sloping 200 day moving average it's also outperforming the s p 500 it's uh momentum is strongly bullish even though it's uh we can see graphically that it was uh you know you know showing some weakness the 14 period of solution is related is rising as investors pay high prices for liacs acf stock the volume for that session was like lighter than usual trading 798,000 or roughly 800,000 shares versus an average of uh, 900 and roughly call it rough, roughly 1 million shares per day during the last 12 months the unbalanced volume indicator shows that longer term accumulation has given way to near term setting pressure by traders okay so we have a mix of things here okay but um yes the unbalanced with the volume indication is i think is showing that um people have not been as aggressive as they were before in buying liacf stock so based on this daily model what sort of um uh, what sort of price targets are we looking at here so this is all the way back to um all the way back to 15th of november what sort of uh, okay let's use 461 as 461 and 461 and 425 461 and 425 and we with it we'll be able to find the sort of uh, price targets we are talking about here 461 461 times 1.618 0.58 roughly call it 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 this closing price so we have a price target of uh, 5.09 dollars so that's our price target for li acf stock in the coming days but uh, we know that um, there might be some holidays in the coming sessions so but uh, we still maintain that 5.09 dollars is our price target so see what you make of uh, li acf stock and we'll continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video